Last Sunday, Elizabeth Warren visited Northampton for a live Q&A that was open to the public at Forbes Library. She gave a short speech about what Congress has been working on and what the plans are for the upcoming session before taking random questions from the crowd. We interviewed both attendees of the event and Warren herself. I think it's really great for Senator Warren to come out west because we are so far away from the center of Massachusetts, which is Boston. And she's coming out to talk to us and tell us what's going on and listen to some of our concerns. And I just think it's a really good move on her part, and I'm grateful for it. To me, Elizabeth Warren coming to town is a, is a confusing thing as to why is she here. I think it's as a parent, it's awesome because my kid is kind of into politics and gives you a chance to get involved and learn a little bit, maybe listen to that perspective, which is great. But this is uh, generally known as a pretty progressive town, and so uh, perhaps she feels like she needs to stir up the progressives a little bit more to get out there and be active in this upcoming election. What do you think about the GOP backlash of, of this, uh, of this, uh, the mandates? Is it, is, are they, in fact, unconstitutional? What's your response? You know, I just really don't get this. Uh, we tell people that they have to wear seat belts because it's a safety issue. Uh, we tell businesses that they have to have filters on their air transfer systems. Uh, we do all kinds of safety things because that's what government does. What do you say that, to the teens of Northampton about vaccination and protection of COVID? Get vaccinated. Uh, not only good for you, but it's good for all your friends. It's good for younger kids who can't get vaccinated at this point. It's good for your grandma and granddad who do not want a breakthrough infection. It truly is up to young people right now. Young people have the chance to beat back COVID. We just need you to be in that fight. Our thanks to the Senator for taking the time to speak with us. The Senate went back into session on Monday the 13th and is busy with many bills on the floor, such as the For the People Act and having hearings on the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, the economy and homeland security. Have a good weekend.